Hey, what's up guys? It's Foster from Subi Speed and we're back today working on our 2015 Deborah X. We've been rebuilding this car into the ultimate daily driver. And if you haven't seen the playlist so far, I'll put a link up above where you can go check out all the videos and get caught up to speed. One thing we haven't addressed so far though is this interior. Honestly, this car gets torn apart and put back together so many times when we're test fitting projects that uh, it's just missing some shit. I'm gonna fix that today, and I ordered in a bunch of parts from Subaru, as well as some parts from our website, and we're gonna be reinstalling them on the interior and making this car a little bit more complete. Since we're missing our AC vents, it's gonna be really easy to remove this trim piece here to install our new ones. But if you got your AC vents in, you're gonna to wanna to use a pry tool like the one I have here and get behind this back edge, and you're gonna be able to pry it loose. I'm gonna use the method of pulling out to remove these pop clips. So I got the clips loose. Now you want to use your pry tool again and disconnect the hazard light and the electronics. Pop those loose. And then last, you got to remove your AC connection there too. All right, got that out of the way. So take your new vents and pop them into place. There's four clips here, four tabs that you need to pop into place. By the way, if you guys want some of these, I'll put a part number down in the description. Now that that's all assembled, we can put this back in the car. So whoever installed the steering wheel on our Debra X forgot to install this lower center cover, Kevin, and it's only accessible if you have the steering wheel completely off the car, which is part of the reason why I've been putting off this project. I'm going to go ahead and just rip it off the car now and get this installed and show you guys a bit of it, but if you want a step-by-step -step guide, check out our video that I'll put in the description that shows you exactly how to remove your steering wheel. With the pins holding the airbag in place removed, next thing you wanna do is remove the airbag itself. Got the airbag out. Now, we can disconnect the steering wheel and install this cover. Okay. So break that nut loose. Don't take it all the way off and give it a good pull and that way you won't hit yourself in the face. you want to be really careful pulling your steering wheel off so that you don't screw up your clock spring and then you got to replace that which can be pretty expensive. Now that we've got the steering wheel off the car, pop that cover into place and then you can use your screw and secure it so it doesn't come off. And boom, you got a nice looking steering wheel. Looks so much better with that cover. All right. Next up, we have to do something about this missing e-brake boot cover. It broke a long time back and then it just ended up never getting reinstalled. And it's annoying to drive like this because food and change can fall through the gaps. So I've got a plan for this project and I'll show you guys that now. So I ordered in a replacement e-brake boot cover here from Subaru. I'll put the part number in the description, but it comes with this really cheap fake leather material, which I wasn't happy with. So I instead got a JDM Station Alcantara e-brake boot cover from our website, like you see here. I'm gonna start by prying up the pleather material from the OEM boot and getting it removed from this plastic trim here. Okay, I got the old cheesy pleather off of there. Now I'm just gonna throw this away and we can install the new Alcantara one from JDM Station. There's probably a lot of different glues you can use for this project, but I'm gonna use crazy glue because I'm impatient and I don't wanna wait for it to dry. But definitely wear some gloves if you're doing this project. You don't wanna get it on your skin. Ask me how I know. 
So while we wait on this e-brake boot to dry, I'm gonna go ahead and remove the shift boot since I have a matching JDM Station Alcantara shift boot. And that way everything is gonna match and look nice together. Here is the final product of the Alcantara shift boot installed on our WRX trim. You got the WRX logo still, and you got this nice Alcantara suede material with this red stitching. I think it's gonna look really nice when it's installed in the car. Now for the fun part, let's put these back in the car and see how they look. All right, I'm loving how that Alcantara looks in the interior. I really like the way that this matches the seats, as I said, and the steering wheel. I'm happy that we went with red accents on our new shift boot cover and our e-brake boot cover. All right, now let's get the shift boot in. That looks amazing. All right, I got one more surprise for you guys. So the last thing I wanna change in the interior is the shift knob. We have this racing Ashiko shift knob on here, which weighs over 730 grams, and it makes shifting really effortless, but I think it's time to switch it up. So since we're building the perfect daily driver, I got a new shift knob from Grimspeed. This is made out of Delrin, and for those who aren't familiar, Delrin is a plastic material that doesn't get too hot in the summer, and it doesn't get too cold in the winter, so I figured if we're building a daily driver, this would be the perfect material. I also like the fact that this weighs is about 120 grams so it's going to be significantly lighter and what that's going to do is it's going to allow you to feel the gating of the shifter a lot more and you're going to feel all those synchros it's going to make shifting a little bit more connected as a driver all right guys so let me know what you think of all our interior mods i have to say it's nice to have vents again in the ac and all this alcantara throughout the car ties really nicely to the red accents we've got going on everywhere in the car let me know what you guys think of all the interior mods we did and thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you later Thank you.